If it blows up, it blows up on film, right? On our way back to the truck to go to another part of the creek, I think I found something good. And I did. Alright, let's go down the other side of the creek and look for more crap. Alright, so we're going to go down this side of the creek. We didn't find nothing on the side the mill was on. I'm not sure if y'all can hear these mosquitoes buzzing. But they are annoying. And we have found broken glass bottles, cork top bottles in here. So hopefully we'll have some luck again. So, let's get to it. Alright, what we got here, unless it was a sawmill. And we got a... A cut board sticking out of the bank here, going up in the mud. Rough cut. I don't know how old it is, but over here, we got one. You can see the saw marks in it. I might try to save this, but you can see the old saw marks. And it's where they're cutting off the edge. And it feels like it may have been... It's kind of rough. It may, it may have been axe cut. Now, we found axe cut logs in this creek, and we've got some that we've pulled out. But I'm going to come back. I'm probably going to save this. It was done with a giant circular saw. And there's a couple logs back that way we're going to look at when we come back through. Uh, right now, I've never been up this far in the creek. So hopefully, if this debris is here, maybe there's some in some of the high waters and floods that we've had. Over the last hundred and so years, there should be some bottles down here. So we're going to go this way and see what we can find. And we've come across another one of those boards sticking in the bank. Saw cut board. Right there. I'm not going to dig it out, but it's from that mill too. That's cool. Quinn just found that. A neat looking piece of wood. From the sawmill. Don't know what it was used for. We're gonna figure out how to see if we can save that. We're gonna put it back down in the water and hold it up. And we're gonna grab it on the way out. That's cool. Alright. See if we can find some more stuff. Alright, we're debating on whether to go to the other mill because we have found some cool stuff here. We just gotta figure out how to preserve it. Huh? He's got a board there, but when, there's a log here. The water's kind of cloudy. We're we'll walking around in it. But this log has been cut with a saw, and it was probably going to... The, well, the mill was here, the other side of that bridge, in the early 1800s. And then after the Civil War, it got moved down the creek. So we pulled logs out of here. Um, I'll show them to you if I get if I can remember it. But you can see where they're banded together or, or holes punched in them for like a put pegs for a raft or whatnot. Well, we think it was. But here you got another board right here. Rough cut. I'm trying to find one with a axe cut, but I'm not hadn't had any luck. I think we got all them out of here already. I'll show you one of them too, if I can remember. But uh, this old log. And we found that thing with a hole in it. And then by it, 
we found this piece of uh, cut wood and you can see the saw marks here they're straight up and down they're not rounded like this one I think these are have a curve to them these are straight up and down or it appear yeah these are straight up and down so this is older this would fit more the timeline of this mill this would fit the timeline of the mill before it moved and then he just found this board right here it's got this square hole in it right here that was probably where it was banded together to get down here at the mill um we're going to try to preserve these somehow there's one with a hole in it too tall or hard tough as axe cut but uh yep yeah, that's what we found here we're debating on whether to go to the other one or not because it's hot down here in this creek All right, so back where we were yesterday, we found that busted bottle and that iron. We're going to poke around in here for a little bit, see what we can find. And uh, hopefully we won't find no shoulders. We've already found one poisonous snake. Hopefully we won't find another one. Big piece of iron. Probably could. Cool. And so we've already found two of those cork top bottles right in here. Maybe we can find a whole one, Clint. Heck, I'd settle for another top. Well, I thought I was videoing that. Anyway, I found an old piece of uh, Pepsi bottle with the old handy dandy rake. It was underneath that board right there. Yeah, there's a lot of boards. I see that. Huh? Oh, yes, yeah, where I found that silver coin was up around the top of the hill, around the edge of the old road bed. I figured I'd show you the old road bed. Coming up from the creek. Right here, you can see there's one side of it, and there's the other side of it. Pretty wide. Found a bunch of buggy parts in here, springs and uh, little brass caps at the end of the uh, part that went out to the horse or oxen, whatever they're using to pull it with. Find them down in here. Mostly just find leaf springs, or seat springs, I think is what they were. So, now we got to through all that up a big hill back of your truck, so. Yeah, it's fun. And the road comes up and it turns to the right and then you can see where the old road goes all the way out to the old or to the new road and then there's several foot paths up there so it's an old road goes back to the revolutionary war or older so i find a 1856 seated dime right up there by that tree that big tree right here On our way back to the truck, I found that. I'd like to top an old medicine bottle. It's broken. Yeah, I'd like to find one hole. Alright, so at this place we found this old Pepsi Cola bottle. And all them gnats, them things will drive you nuts. Uh, find that Pepsi bottle, and then at the other place, walking back to the truck, I found that some type of a scraping tool, probably. That's not a point, but it's been worked. And then, right shortly after that, I found this. You see that little ledge right there? From what was explained to me, this was a either probably a knife blade at one time, and this is a chip that they chipped off to sharpen it or put another edge on it. And that's where, let's see, focus, and that's where it was chipped. That's the old edge, and that line right there is where the new edge was on the the uh, knife blade or tool or whatever it is. But that's a chip. That's where they sharpened their tool or blade. 
and I found this right after that which is a piece of a point or a tool of some kind so wasn't a bad hunt had a pretty good time Did you have a good time you don't know no he don't know no it's so, not it is hot so anyway till next time see you later